Hello everybody, my name is Russ and I'm gonna make a video here, it's the first time I've ever made a video for YouTube, but I was inspired by looking at some people's drawing space videos and home offices and stuff like that, little creative areas, so I figured I'd do one myself. Uh, quite a few people have been in my room here and said, hey, you should film this. It's pretty cool, show it to the family and stuff around the country. So here you go. Hello family around the country and hello to all of you YouTube viewers with nothing better to do than uh, sit around and watch my video. Glad to have you and uh, hope I don't bore you too much. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <clears throat> like I said, my name's Russ. I'm an artist. I'm a writer. I draw, paint, sculpt, carve, do any kind of creative anything. I can get my hands on or my ideas wrapped around. So this is my place to escape at home, come in here and really get my uh, creative juice flowing and my imagination just running off wild. So I'm going to try and walk you through a little bit here and show you around. If you got any questions, just uh, ask them in the replies or any comments, just please try and be positive. I'm I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a filmographer here or cinematographer. I'm just a guy with a handheld camera. And try and be nice. Hopefully, you give me a thumbs up. All right, there we go. This is my room. I like religious items. I like antiques. I like uh, bells. I like a lot of different things. A kind of eclectic mix here. <clears throat> it's a prayer box. My great great grandfather brought over from Italy. It was passed down through the family. And <clears throat> I just uh, it was really something. I had to have it. So here, here it is, and I'm hoping that someday I'll be able to pass it along to the next person in the family that finds the same kind of uh, joys and comforts in the older things like I do. The family, uh, family Bible here. Love Bibles, love spiritual items, religious items, of all different types of religions from around the world. Very interested in that kind of stuff. Always have been, always will be. There's never too much to take a look at and learn about. There's my curio cabinet. Get a lot of compliments on this when people come over. Got a lot of different uh, doodads and crystals and crystal balls, <clears throat> crystal pyramids, kind of a little bit of everything that is me, stuff I'm interested in, Snoopy and the Red Baron there, great toy from about 1966 I believe, one of the toys that was passed on to me when I was born, from my parents. It's a nod to Charles Schultz, great artist. Great artist, great imagination, great entertainer. One of my heroes. Heroes in the art world, that is. <laughs> That's a little nod to the wish. I wish I had a pot of gold, wish I could find it at the end of the rainbow, but, you know, gotta stay positive. Someday my, my time will come, hopefully. I'll be able to find that pot of gold and find all the riches that go along with it and the happiness <clears throat> and I don't mean money I just mean the happiness of the, uh, making life a little easier less worries and whatnot <clears throat> in the back there that's a whale's tooth scrimshawed by the gentleman on the card he's uh, an older gentleman now that's him when he was young when he got out of the military, he became a scrimshaw artist for Mystic Seaport. And uh, he gifted that to me some years back because he uh, was impressed with my artwork and kind of adopted me like a grandson almost. So my hat's off to you, Frank. Thanks, bud. I really, really love your, uh, love your work and love having you as a friend. If it's a little dark here, I apologize. Like I said, I'm not a... This is my first video ever. 
trying to film and I'm doing it with a handheld camera so I hope I don't bounce around too much and get y'all seasick and motion sickness out there going on any of you. There's my bookshelves. One of the cool things I like, I just really, really enjoy neat things. Very much so. I love books. Used to have a 4,000, over 4,000 volume library in my old house. I downsized and moved here. Decided to only keep the things that I couldn't part with. The things that really inspired, really were something for me. I love antique books. Those are two of my prized possessions there. Uh, two of the two in the series of The Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Baum. Those are uh, first editions from the 1800s. Awesome books. There's a staff I made got years ago for one of my Halloween costumes. It came out really cool and I, just, I really like it. It's another one of those odd things that I just made and now it's going to be with me until the day I die, I guess. <laughs> There's a walking stick in the back, wood burnt with all little tips and drawings on how to survive in the woods. Found the found the stick itself on a beaver dam in the town I'm from down in the woods and grabbed it and worked on it and made that out of it. A bunch of drawing books and whatnot down there. And <clears throat> If you see anything, you questions, like I said, I'd be glad to answer for you. There's a frying pan right there. That's from the Civil War. I believe uh, my great-great-great-grandfather, he was the first sergeant in the Civil War, Connecticut Volunteers, 11th Regiment, D Company, in uh, field artillery, I believe. It's an alpaca fur behind it. From a gentleman up by my grandparents' house used to have it alpaca farm when they when the alpacas would pass away they would take the, the skin off and the hides and we were lucky enough to have one that there's a that's a risk board I love risk so but the board was always too small so I made that wood burn it and hand painted it and break it out whenever we played good big game of risk There, cool old mirror, kissing ravens. A lot of masks and cool things to hang on the wall. Well, this kind of stuff, weird, but it's cool. This is a box with all my crystals and cool rocks and stuff like that. Minerals collected through the years. See, everything's right at hand. Take a look when I feel like it. Little cabinet there. Back over here to the books. Bookshelves. There's a cool shelf right there. That's uh, that's my crystal ball. <laughs> Stare into the crystal ball. <laughs> and a box. It's a cool trinket box. It was hand carved. I ordered it from the artist. A very nice job on it. Cool items. Let's see, I got a very different kind of collection of books. Everything I have is inspiring for drawings and my writing and all that kind of stuff. There's some of my little wooden Star Wars guys I, I made. <laughs> I thought they came kind of came out cool, so put them on the shelf with the, some of the Star Wars books. And that book right there, Lucifer's Hammer. You ever get a chance to read it? I recommend it highly. Best book I ever read. Carried it with me all through the all through my teenage years and in the Marine Corps finally found a first edition and it's a cherished highly cherished 
again, more cool things. Got an old Avon bottle of a uh, Viking longship, longboat. Uh, that's a little nod to my Viking heritage. Arr. Love that stuff. As you can see up above, that's a little nod to my Star Wars heritage. Star Wars! Yep. I was there to see the first one back in the 70s when it came out, and I'll never forget it. 1977, 78. Best years of my life back then. Star Wars was just absolutely such a big integral part of growing up. Yeah, I guess I'm a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I like alien and UFO stuff, so you got a bunch of different books on that. Whitley Stryber collection, Zachariah Sitchin, Eric Von Daniken, Bud Hopkins, Ray Fowler. For those of you that like that kind of topic, you'll recognize all those names. Love old books. This book here, I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's called The Old Fashioned Recipe Book. It's by Carla Emery, and this was a handmade book that she made. Back in the 70s, I had to put tape on it to hold the cover together, but the, the inside of the book is perfect, and it's a great book for anybody wanting to go off-grid or live out in the country, anything like that. I highly recommend that book. They do make a reprinted version of it, so take a, take a look. You will not be disappointed. Try and move right along. <laughs> Little firefly in a jar. Pretty cool thing there. Tolkien. He's a master. Master. Great, great stories. The zombie books. That's something I, I like to read just for the fun of it. Very good stuff. It just kind of get you away from the the everyday stuff here. If you have any questions, like I said, just give me a little holler in the comments section and I'll try and answer them for you the best I can. see quite a different kind of collection of books here but a little something it's a little bit of everything that keeps me kind of inspired <clears throat> keeps creative juice flowing keeps my imagination going and some of the items too this is a bayonet 1942 m1 grand world war ii rifle awesome 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 Going back up here, back up to the top shelf here. That guy right there is one of my favorite, favorite items. I found him when I was out in a, a antiquing and like thrift shop. And I don't know what culture he's from. Don't know anything about it, but he's got that cool big old head like an alien type deal. And, Almost looks a little Egyptian, too. Can't really tell what it is. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate it. Roswell alien hat, fly alien air. <laughs> Only one accident in 60 years. <laughs> Some more old books. Love these books. Love them. Can't get, can't get that kind of quality today, by no means whatsoever. This picture right here, that picture reminds me when I was a kid, I used to sneak off into the woods, go way, way out in the woods and down in, down into the gullies and stuff where the streams were, and I just wait around in the streams, go fishing in the summertime, fishing for brook trout and catching minnows and just exploring from sun up to sundown. 
And I'd even sneak out at nighttime sometimes after sundown, sleep in my fort up in the woods. Sorry, Ma, but I had fun. And tarot cards. Oracle cards. Great inspiration for my artwork. Bunch of doodads. Trinkets. Those aren't real teeth. They were plastic teeth. And I painted them for a Halloween costume I did years back where I was a Cajun cannibal. Old World Globe. This is my artist desk. Some of the artwork I've been working on. So I'm the concept artist for a, a team. Uh, we're building a national monument in a local town here. And I'm the concept artist for the project. And here's some other graphic art stuff I've been doing and whatnot. These are my wooden alien elves. <laughs> Going on the cab, I did this when I was about probably, I don't know, 15, 16 years old. And I just always loved it. I loved the way that the kernels came out. They almost look real. So I've always kept that around to keep my, show my, uh, Posit keep my positive energy up for my inspiration for my drawings and keep going make sure I get something done right bunch of little guys here just cool stuff to look at that there's a Halloween mask well it's actually a, an old military ski mask <clears throat> my grandfather has from the turn of the century uh, it's wool and felt scared the bejeebas out of everybody at Halloween he wore every Halloween to answer the door and scared all of us too there's Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, love this print, that guy was a master, so I have so much respect for Walt Disney. Those are my lanterns, bells, you never get lost if you got a lantern and bell. That right there is wooden wood carving that my cousin was uh, working on up to the day he passed away. He was a great wood carver and uh, he was making me an alien. I'm going to leave it just like that. He didn't finish it, but its I, I feel it's got him all in it. I'll never forget him. There's a wand I made years back. Painting, I've been picking away a little bit here and there. That's a pencil box I designed. Keep a lot of my pencils and stuff in it. Didn't design up, so that was pretty cool. Here's a good way to use your old CD rack. Hang it up. I use it for my acrylic paints. When I'm using acrylics, I'll throw up the colors I'm going to be using on the painting or colors that I need to get at real quick. Bang, they're right there. I didn't kill that. That was uh, an old shawl of some sort. I just thought it was neat. So Harpoon. Bubblegum, love bubblegum. Here's my big comfortable man chair <laughs> for my desk. Now here's my desk. This thing I got for 50 bucks at a Goodwill. They were carrying it out. With the, I asked them, how much is that? 50 bucks. They said, well, keep carrying it right to the parking lot. I bought it right on the spot. Big old mission desk. Love it. Here's one of my artworks I did recently. Zombie genre. I did this one a little while before it. And I'm working on this one. Right now, I just had to take a break from it. After a while, you get a little zombied out. Any of you that draw or paint, you know, sometimes you just gotta step away. Get a little refresher going on. Got my Wacom tablet there. I draw, use my big flat screen up above as my monitor. Everything's tied through my laptop. And I love doing my artwork like that. We don't I don't waste any paper. This is a book I've been working on. 700 pages. Hand done. And it's just an incredible. 
project I've been working on for many years now. I just really love this thing. I can't wait to get it done, but then I have a feeling I'm going to kind of miss doing it. It's just been something that I've just enjoyed doing for many years now, and hopefully I have many years to go. Still got a, another 700 pages to go in it, so as you can see, it's all hand done. Proud of this project, really am. It's been really something for me. And again, there's all the art supplies and whatnot, everything I need right at my fingertips. Nice storage underneath the desk. Some cool masks from around the world. Love them. Very inspirational. And this is going to be just about it. I'm signing off soon here. I appreciate you guys coming along. Hats off to you. Sorry. A little sloppy right now, but take care. Stay creative and dream.